Hi, hey, and all those other greetings, Fate Adventurers. I'm Jen Spence, welcoming you guys back to my Gaming Unboxing channel, where today we have another episode of Spindies, this series where we look at indie games on the Nintendo Switch from games that make you moo with happiness to games that make you just say, why in the world does this exist? And today... Uh, we're going to be playing one of those second games called That's a Cow. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not somebody that likes to jump into something and judge it by a trailer or judge it by its title or the cover or anything like that. But from what I know about this game, this is a mobile game where you play as a cow and you use your udders to jetpack yourself. That is a sentence I have now said in the first minute of a video. <laughs> and I can never take it back because you know what? It's only going to get more cursed from here. And usually what I do is I choose a game during a week. I record it, I edit it, and I do that thumbnail. That's the video for the week for Spindies. But this time, I've decided, you know what? I'm going to do a second video just because I, I kind of want to get this game out of the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if you didn't know what we were getting into, this is it. This is the game. Okay, so why I'm assuming is to choose your cow. Can we customize? Okay, it's not that we're customizing a cow. It's that we are we are about to play a, a crane game to try to get a cow. Now, I would like to get like a pink one, but let's be honest, the green one would be a lot more cursed for the video. Yeah, it is a holy cow. It is, it is a holy cow. So we can hit A to jettison ourselves. And we can go faster, apparently. I don't feel like I won. I, I don't. I don't feel... Oh, God. Okay. Yep, that's... That's how cows work. Apparently. I got this music, too. This music is not helping. So what happens if we hit at... I regret asking. I, I very... Very much regret asking. <laughs> okay, so apparently triangles are what hurts us. It's not very clear. Oh! Oh, but we can destroy children with, with milk. You know, this kind of reminds me of a, a movie that I had the un unfortunate pleasure of seeing, which was actually called The Old Man Movie. And if you're wondering, Spins, this reminds you of a movie? And that makes you concerned? Trust me, you, you should. We saw it at the library. We knew it was going to be cursed. And we thought, you know what? Let's just go for it. Because it's going to it's gonna be awkward. It's going to be cursed. Ah, we have, we have the football cow. So we have quite a few cows. Oh, and then we can wait an hour to get a new cow. Sure. Sure. I mean, I kind of like the holy cow, though. It, it just makes it more cursed. I'm sure that we will, we will use more of them. Oh, good. Good. Our, our pro... We, there, there is progress that has gone through this game 
Yeah, we, we can we can destroy the plunger child. Yeah, this is awful. But um, but yeah, the the movie was was like a. It was a foreign movie. I can't remember from what country. But it was it was literally just like a stop motion, like chaotic early two thousands type of movie, like humor type of movie. And like I, honestly, it's just like this game. Words cannot do it justice. You just, you would have to see it, or you would have to look it up. And listen, I, I'm a family friendly channel, so I'm not gonna say watch it because it it is strangely adult, but also just weird. Like this game is just weird. It's not adult, but like whatever. I think the most the most disturbing part is just the fact of how how comfortable this cow feels just streaming milk from its one like nozzle udder. Like this is not this is not how cows work. <laughs> like, I know that's not I, this is me trying to cope about the fact that I actually paid for this and I am I am playing it. Now on the bright side the ultimate version, which apparently is like a DLC version, was not out when I when I purchased this. So it can only get so cursed. And it can't get more cursed. Hey, do not plunger me. How dare? I'm, I'm sure a plunger would just make us lose a heart. Because that's what happens when you hit a cow in the face with a plunger. You'll lose... You lose the love of your life, Betsy. You lose so much love, and it becomes so sad. Don't ask why I just decided to do a New York accent. Again, I feel like I'm coping. <laughs> these these coins also kind of look like they're more so like a bottle cap or something. Kind of like uh, Cash Cow from Webkins. It's kind of crazy. This is literally just, hey, have a crap ton of coins. <laughs> okay. Good. We get another curse. Oh, there's a there's a blue back. Can we grab the blue? No, we cannot. We can be a smart graduate, cow. Yo. I mean, I haven't graduated yet, which is why I'm currently playing this game. Because I'm not smart enough to know not to play a game like this on my channel. <laughs> no, my hat! I didn't know you could lose your hat! Well, I, I wasn't smart enough to graduate yet anyway, so it's fine. Alright, come on, cow, we can jetpack you to safety. Honestly, it doesn't even look like milk. It just looks like it just straight up skipped a, a huge bunch of processing and has has just jumped to the stage where it is now like cream cheese. Just coming straight out of the cow. It's a it's cream cheese. Honestly, it might even be like mashed up cheesecake more so than anything else. I mean, either way, I'm, I'm concerned on so many levels. Why are plunger children trying to kill these many different cows? Why do these cows exist in this fashion? I, I, I have no clue. But like I said, this series is literally meant for a, an excuse to play cursed and fun games on the Switch. And who knows? Maybe somebody is watching this video and being like, man, I have always dreamed of this. This this is going to be my my life. This is the best thing that possibly could ever happen that Spins could have played. I, I am going to speedrun That's a Cow, and it is going to be the best experience. And then you, you end up getting Twitch and YouTube monetization because you decided to become the world record speedrunner of this hor horrifying game. <laughs> Why do I feel like 
this is also going to be like the one video from Spindies that the developer will watch. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, he's giant. He's giant. Stop this. Stop this. Oh, this is, this is gross. I really thought he was about to turn into a snowman. Get up the ground, which is also seems to be some kind of a sponge or something. Honestly, just do not try to apply logic to the spins. Uh, the, the most unfortunate part about this is I don't have a therapist to talk to after this experience. Like, I just, I have to live the rest of my life knowing that this is something I have done in my life. And this is a game that I have experienced. How dare you? Oh, he's going speedy! Well, you can't go speedy when you're covered in cream cheese. You know that, that famous saying from Jennifer Aniston? <laughs> you can't go speedy, Ross, when you're covered in cream cheese. Oh, God. Oh, God. You just gotta love that one episode of Friends. You'd think it would have been Phoebe that would have done it, but no, it was Ross. How has this music slowly gotten from being at least okay to now just being like slow, slowly more like demonic? Look, by the end of this video, like, are, are we going to have met Satan? <laughs> This is how you summon Satan by playing That's a Cow. Because honestly, I I don't understand. Okay. What are what are we gonna get? Is that does that cow have a paper bag on its head? Well, we're not gonna find out because we didn't get it. Chef Cow! Chef Kawasaki. A beautiful. Absolutely. Well, the pun, not not anything else that is happening on screen. Yeah, you can definitely tell that this is this is meant to be a mobile game. I'm guessing they just put it on Switch, hoping that somebody would see like a, a cute packaged cow, and just be like, "Yeah, this is it." I will say though, I can't believe I'm about to give this game any praise, but I will give it the praise of the actual cow design is very cute. Not, not the part of it shooting, whatever it's shooting out of its udders, but everything else, you know, the, the cow design specifically and the cow costumes, that part's nice. If we could just take that part of the game and just scrap the entire rest of the game, then hey, maybe, maybe I would be having a more positive light of this. Oh! Mr. Plunger Man's just fall into his doom. They really, they really just like absolute demise with, with these weird donuts. No, no. Ill. Oh. I'm also just realizing like I'm, I'm glad this is virtual, because getting hit with whatever the heck this is. Mm mm. Mm mm. It's. It not not good. Oh, the glass, the glass. Oh, glass all in the eyes. That entire exchange is just the worst thing. Oh, I hate it so much. Oh my god, and there. I did notice too. Oh, the plunger! He hit me with the plunger. We got a little a little zit on our face. It's it's like an ingrown hair zit. Doesn't even look like a plunger. You thought this video couldn't get grosser, and yet here we are. Yeah, but you can you can tell like there's only 24 cows. The the way its system is, like, it was definitely originally intended for you to pay some money for these cows. The three star system, all that, all that stuff. Okay. Can we actually keep our chef's hat right now? Because we have not finished a level with the chef's half hat. And if we have, I think maybe it's one, one level.
and we can't be Chef Kawasaki unless we have the hat. Also, we're orange. So that's kind of wild that the, the pun works, the design works, just all around, it's, it's perfect. Just the pun part. No, <laughs> nothing game involved here is is making me making me happy. But you know what? We're we're making it. Oh, okay. This kind of looks like a test room, if I'm being honest. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip you. You're rude, and you made me lose my chef's hat saddens me i had one i have one joy throughout this entire experience and you keep taking it away from me oh oh god the the plunger quintuplets yeah quintuplets oh god it's just a freaking wall of plungers and even the plungers actually Specifically, the red part only gets annihilated from this. Which is not made out of the same material as whatever this stuff is out. Because if it was, then that stuff would be getting covered too. Yay, we get a gift. Oh, oh my god, okay. I need to know... Okay, this is that like the far I still missed him and we Yeah, you can re repeat cows. That's rude. So rude. Well, you know what? We we didn't play a lot of the graduation cow. I mean, to be fair, we also haven't played any of the football ones, so maybe we should change this one. Oh my god. Okay. What is happening right now? It's like it's like they took like 5% of Yoshi's Wooly World and they just decided to make it like a club mix. And I genuinely don't understand. Rude. Okay, well, the helmet did not help. getting more and more maddening and we're only 17 minutes in this is still the shortest video of spindies so far and i have yet i have yet to experience a room where i was like i'm like oh yeah this is this is a level they've they've all mostly been a situation where i'm like oh this is feels like a test room also, I was seeing if I could get stuck, because I was curious. Because, <laughs> of course, I would check that. Whee! Oh? Okay, well, that did not break. I, I assumed it would. It's just... It's just an element to add HD rumble. That's it. Oh my god. I can't. I I'm just gonna ignore y'all. Have, have fun just being ignored. I know it's a part of the like completion of the game, but like now. Just the less the less plunger boys I have to see. The, the better. No, no. No, no. Yeah, get rid of the jelly. Oh, the, the jelly one also doesn't help. Oh, but that is going to help a little bit. Can I? No, no. No, cow. 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 Oh, why? Why have you done this? God bless it, cow. Oh, God. 
Okay, we're at, le we're at least getting a little bit into a slight difficulty ramp up, which, fair enough. Okay. Yeah, see, I, I said slight because really not much. Yeah, this helmet is clearly not helping us at all. Yeah, and I, I don't really like the fact, ow, that there's there's an option to repeat or next, and unless you get another cow, like, you just can't swap your cow. Like, unless, unless you actually have to wait until you get into the level, and if that's the case, that's just weird. Oh, my God. Hey, that's okay. If we were going to fail with any cow, it was going to be this one. Ow. Like, dude has one trait. It is to wear a helmet. And he can't even do that correctly. Oh, my God. It's ridiculous. Okay. I am just not playing very smart. Because before, I only died because I wanted those coins. Oh, you hit B. Okay. Fair enough. We're going back to Holy Cow. <laughs> I can't believe I actually lost one of the freaking levels. In this style of game. Again, wh what is happening to the music? It keeps randomly, like, ramping up and then, like... Just randomly. It's like, oh, it's cursed now. Okay, I guess we're not getting that apple. No, no, no. That's not... I was trying to be silly, and it did not work. Neither did the... Gra well, grabbing that apple wouldn't have mattered anyway. So it's fine. He <laughs> just straight up missed us. He just, he just jumped over and was like, I'm going to plunger you, and just... Nope. Also, I can't believe I'm asking this question, but were the police sirens outside of my dorm, or were they in the game? Because I can't tell. <laughs> Would this be a game that would randomly have police sirens? God, I hope so. It makes absolutely no sense. Oh my god. What is happening? What is happening? Oh my god. Why? But why though? They they were just like, hey, hey Jimmy, we, we need we need a level for level 26. You, you got something? And he's like, I, I got you, fam. I got I got the fastest glass breaking level you've ever seen. Looked like it was it was trying to like demote a specific window company. And we just had our cow end up kissing the congealed corpse. Oh boy. We are still not even that long into the video either. Still only like 23 minutes. Oh my god. I feel like I'm just gonna keep playing this just for sheer cu curiosity. Like trust me, this is not gonna be one that I'm gonna be like, oh hey, in the comment section down below, if you wanna see more of that's a cow, let me know. But why do I have feeling that's going to be the one that people are like, oh, this is this is weird and this is funny. Spins, play, play more. <laughs> do, do, do more of this cursed content. Oh, okay. One more and we have the chance of a new cow. Oh, it's a tube. It is tube! I mean, I wouldn't have minded the entire level just straight up being where you went up the tube. Like, that would have actually been a pretty interesting difference in a level. 
Like these tubes don't really add anything because there's there's only so much they've done with them so far. Yeah, like see, that's the kind of thing that should be in there a little bit more. Am I criticizing the level design of a game called That's a Cow? Y yes. I can't believe it either, but here we are. Okay, well, the top ones have, have like, new, but, like, the depth perception is terrible. Yeah, I went over. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's, that's fine. I think the other question is, why does the screen shake every time you, like, do that oh boy the gross boss guy and his plunger doesn't even get bigger why why are your plungers so big and then you throw them and suddenly they're so tiny okay well clearly the mask helped us because we actually still have the mask on though the cow did not did not put it over his pimple so Still kind of showing it. <laughs> Do y'all hear this music right now? I know I've said that so many times, but what is happening? Like, if you're if you're wondering too, like, if you if you manage to get through this far into the video, first off, thank you. But secondly, if you're saying it spins why do you even have these games on here like i i get the ones where you're like oh maybe it's a hidden gem and m maybe we'll we'll find something really good out of this but like you knew going into this that this was going to be a, a weird fever dream of an experience and that it was extremely unlikely that this would be a game you would come out saying like oh this is this is a hidden gem of the nintendo eShop that you guys should all play so why are you doing it and honestly like a part of it is because it, it helps me to appreciate the amount of good games that are on the eShop. you know i know that there there are plenty of stinkers there's plenty that are in genres that i'm not gonna enjoy and there are plenty that are just straight up weird but like there are so many indie games that have amazing music, amazing character and level design, and you genuinely don't have to stop and be like, oh, is this worth my time or money? And like, yeah, it is silly to be like, oh yeah, to, to prove that I paid like $5 for a game called That's a Cow that I probably could have played free on mobile. But like, it still kind of proves my point here. Like, don't get me wrong, not every single... You can shoot milk at the launchers to stop them from shooting altogether. Oh my god, we just... I wanted to see if we keep sliding. We literally just did a break dance. We, we just... Oh my god. But yeah, th this, believe it or not, playing a game like this does actually help me to stop and say, you know what, there are some some really good bangers on the Switch, and I'm, I'm excited to discover more of them. And it also makes me say, this is a life I've chosen. <laughs> You know, I could be playing Pikmin 4 right now, but instead I'm playing That's a Cow! <laughs> Just... Oh my god. I think maybe, maybe I'll see, because I'm curious. I'm just curious where this goes, and I'm curious what, what kind of other cows we might get. So maybe I'll go one more cow, and then we'll end the the video sorry plunger boy you're not gonna get me that easy okay well that's gonna just oh that's not as bad as i expected well surprise surprise it's called that's a cow like 
Just because there's a slightly different mechanic does not mean it is going to suddenly ramp up the difficulty. Ah, death cubes. You know, when, whenever I see red jello, I'm always like, yep, I need to make sure my cows don't touch that. It'll definitely kill them. I mean, this cow, this cow probably has some kind of plague. He has a mask on. And y'all know the plague I'm talking about. I'm just not going to say it because, you know, we're, we're still in a, in a weird era where it's like, it's still relevant. But I, I don't keep up with like breaking news and stuff. So I don't know if we're in a place yet where it's like, we can cope laugh about it yet or not. Alright, bye. Bye, plunger boy. See you in cow hell. I also just realized the level icons will randomly have a fire symbol on them. As if it's being like, oh yeah, this this level. This level is fire. <laughs> okay. Like there's no there's no rhyme or reason. There's just Yeah, this one doesn't have a fire symbol. And I don't know what it's trying to tell me. Because I've gone through almost 40 levels. And I have yet to get any context for it. Okay. Oh, the jello. Oh, the death jello. Sometimes death jello is in circles. Sometimes it's in triangles. Sometimes it's in squares. We don't question death jello. We just know it's, it's bad for the cows. There we go. Do we get cow? Oh, well, it's it's fitting that we do level four. Oh, guys, this level is fire. Let's go. Like, okay. Sure, buddy, sure. You say so. Oh, we're, we're out of congealed cream cheese. I hate that this is getting so, like slowly more normal the more I'm playing this game. Oh. I figured I would try to see because at first I thought you could just save the the cream cheese and be fine because you're going the speed but no it, it does actually stop you from moving near I cannot believe I'm disappointed at something in this game <laughs> like of course of course you're gonna be disappointed spins it, it's literally called That's a Cow. Like, the game straight up expects you to be just like, yeah, this is how cows work. God. Do we get a cow? It did not just say we're 40% of the way done with it. Did it? Did it really? Oh, okay. We're not. We're not at capacity yet listen i need to know what other cursed cow we could potentially get in this game it hasn't gotten better it, it really hasn't <laughs> but my curiosity is too peaked and if we get a new one then maybe we'll actually oh, i don't know man i'll just go somewhere random is that just straight up the base cow no, it's a VR cow. Okay, we'll play one more level with VR cow, and then we'll end the video. Oh, well, we just lost the... God dang it. Oh, now Plunger Boy can fly. All right, well, that's... That's something you should have added, like, 20 levels ago. Like, why? And he doesn't do anything different. He's just flying. Again, why am I disappointed? It is literally a mobile game put on the eShop called That's a Cow. Spins just jeez, man. Okay. Well, I need to see the victory animation with the VR set. Never mind.
this is probably like one of the worst levels to potentially do that for. Well, you know what? This is going to be the last level one. So, let's be honest. My thoughts on this game. Don't buy it. Don't. Don't buy it. It's called That's a Cow, but le no. No, I... I'm sure it's it's based on some kind of a joke where somebody was having a, a fever dream and they just they were talking to the, the family and they were like but what if there was a game of jetpack joyride where it's a cow and they fly by shooting milk from their udders like I I understand what you're trying to do here but my god, it is so cursed. And like, I, I knew, I knew going into this that this is what I would feel. But like, the level design, it, like, there have been mobile games that I have played on a phone that have had better level design than this. And I understand it's supposed to be a port of a mobile game. But come on, man. Come on, you really, you really couldn't have done a little bit more of a difficulty ramp up. Like, again, I really shouldn't be critical of this game because, like, I knew what I was signing up for. So, like I said, it's a game. And that's the nicest thing I can say about it. Like, the, the cow design, the different hats... It's cute. There's apparently an ultimate design. I like I, I don't even know what the ultimate version would include. If there's like DLC cows. I don't care to find out. And honestly, this is probably one game that I will I will delete from my Switch. The very second that that I I leave this. Now the sad thing is, I have to figure out how to make a thumbnail out of this game with original art. And this music just says everything. If you guys enjoyed, hit that like button. If you really hate your family, you can share this video with them. <laughs> you can let them know this game exists. Will it make your life better? No. Will it make their lives better? No. But it, it will help my channel in, in some capacity. Or I will post this and all of my subscribers will, will leave. But you know what? I, I think it would be really hilarious if this is the video that I got like a bunch of subscribers from. So you know what? If you have not subscribed yet, subscribe right now. Cause it, and, and just tell me in the comments, because it would be so unbelievably cursed and hilarious. Like, I almost hope this just ends up in a bunch of people's recommended feeds so they could be like, what is this? And like, this video defined my channel in such a terrible way, but also I play so many like random, and wild type of games that it kind of works too. Anyway, though, guys, thank you for watching. Don't buy this game and keep your toes safe. Thank you for watching my video, guys. If you look over to the left, you can see a playlist of one of my many playthroughs on the channel, as well as a fun video up above it. And if you look over to the right, you can subscribe to the channel as well as see another video either from my channel or one of my friends' channels. Either way, it's sure to be a fun time. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Keep your toes safe.